Hi guys, my name is John Melisandra and today I will be demonstrating on how to paint a landscape painting. So it will be a typical landscape guys. You can, uh, it has uh, some sort of um, clouds, mountains, skies, um, grassy fields, rivers and trees. Okay, so but before that I am going to introduce to you my materials. I have here my paint palette. This is my titanium white. I have a titanium white, tall blue, brilliant red, um, medium yellow and the lamp black. So you observe guys that I am always using um, limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. And also guys mixing um, using um, primary colors or limited colors is also good when you are still learning on how to paint. Okay. And this is, these are my brushes. I have here um, the 2 inches flat brush, um, the 1 inch flat brush, number 7 flat brush, number 4 flat brush, number 6 um, fan brush, number 2 fan brush, and number 1 liner brush or round brush for the details. Okay. And water guys to thin the paint and this is my canvas guys it's 12 by 16 inches um, it has three coats of prime gesso and I made it myself okay so I'm going to start now with the um, first the sky then the mountains then the fields then I'll go with the, the I'm going to put the river here with the I think I'm going to put a small um, um, a small um, bridge okay and I will use um, 2 inches flat brush guys and first you need to dip the tip of your brush to make a little wet so that it will flow smoothly on the surface of the canvas okay now I'm going to start and start using the white and blue guys for the sky so we just have to mix and apply it here directly so I think I'm going to divide the, the landscape to the two here so I'm gonna put a cliff here guys small cliff then here this part will be the the bridge and the river here okay so let's proceed so there will be no um, it's just a special technique guys in applying this blue color just have to paint it using the 2 inches flat brush okay guys so add more white on the bottom of the um, sky to make it um, very light and that's a blue on the top of it to make it darker okay I think it's very easy you know I should observe it it's just um, there will be no special technique Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna add the. Uh, um, I think the. Um, the mountains first. So, wait, I'm going to look at this part. Okay. So, I think I'm going to mix for darker um, bluish or grayish, uh, bluish gray color, guys. So, just use the, the blue, then a little amount of black. 
to make it a little gray, yes, and white, guys. Lots of white. Okay, then we're gonna apply it here directly. Then we're gonna put it here. Using the 2 inches flat brush. Hmm. This will then have lots of mountains. So that's it. Yeah, how about that? Yeah. Add some small mountains. Okay. Yeah, I think that will do. Now, what else I'm gonna do? I'm going to add a cloud later, guys, but I'm going to let it dry first. Yeah. And here, I'm going to add a field. A very wide field, guys, of grass. Okay, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use smaller brush. I think the number... Uh, one is flat brush. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll just use the uh, number number two, uh, two inches flat brush, guys. Remember just to just clean your brush first before adding another color on it. So I'm gonna use the yellow. I'm gonna separate it here. So it's okay, guys, if it turns green because we we had used um blue on it, so it's okay. So I'm gonna add white on it, and I'll just apply it here. Okay. Oh, make it straight. So many ways to make it straight. Okay. I'm gonna make it uh, yellow so I'll just add yellow guys more yellow more yellow okay now I'm gonna add more white to make a farther object lighter Add more yellow. Yeah, that's it. Now I'm gonna start adding the the background color of the cliff here. And I'm gonna use first case you should uh, br clean your brush. Okay, yeah. And I'm gonna use a darker color, so I'm gonna use the blue and red with a little black yeah it's some kind of violet but this is not actually the real color guys uh, this is this is just the background color so I think I'm gonna add uh, a little amount of yellow to make it a little green Another violet or brown. Okay. 
I think I'm gonna be uh, I'm going to sketch for the river so I'm thinking of adding the bridge here on the left side on the right side sorry and I'm gonna add the river here okay so this will be the river part So if it feels hard guys, just wet the brush to make it a little um, fluid. Yeah, that's it. So this will be the river guys. So since it's a river, so I'm gonna add first the, uh, I think the blue background color here. To have some um, reflection from the sky. But before that, I think I'm going to add the colors to the, the River banks. So I think I'm gonna use the blue, the yellow, and the red. Okay. So I'm gonna make it a little greenish with brown. So don't worry, guys. This is just the uh, background colors. So you don't have to worry about the colors you are applying. As long as it's, it's dark, that's fine. Okay, here also, then add a little orange with black. I'm gonna, I, I like it to make it black, darker with blue. So, just observe, guys, that I am just playing with the uh, uh, different colors to make it dark. Okay. So just that's how I want you to do guys. We just have to play the colors and never afraid of, of applying the colors. Anyway you can change that. If ever you make uh, you think that something is wrong, something is off. You can always correct um, the mistakes. Uh, according to Bob Ross. Um, there are no mistakes. <laughs> it's just a happy, uh, little accidents. Okay, so we have now the river here. That's pretty cool. Okay, so what else I'm gonna add? I'm gonna do the. So you need to clean your brush first, guys, before adding another color. Sorry, remember. And I'm gonna add the bluish color here. So I'm gonna use the white and the blue. So it's very muddy, so it's okay, guys. Okay, white. So let's apply it like that. I think, guys, the our procedure becomes a little. Uh, I think it's not. Uh, wasn't right but I will I'll just I'm gonna um, I'll just let you know guys that you, um, it's better to start with the um, the call of the river first before adding the the river banks so I will encourage you to do that okay so I think what I did here is a little um, not so correct <laughs> So I'll just play in some areas. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I like that. 
Now I think I am ready to add the uh, sky, the clouds. So I think I'm gonna use um this what I'm gonna use. Okay, so another color. So let's try here first guys. Let's try for adding some coats. And I'm gonna start adding the clouds. So I'm going to use the number 7 flat brush guys and black and blue I'm going to make it bluish gray and white Okay That's too dark So add more white Okay, that's good but and i'm gonna make it a little bluish more bluish okay that's it i'm going to add some um cumulus clouds so i'll just apply more white guys and blue to blend some areas more white So I'll just assume guys that my light is coming from the left. Start more white. Okay, so just observe what I'm doing guys. So I'm gonna make this part lighter. Okay. Yeah, and, and now I'm going to add the highlight. So use just use the pure white here, and you can make some curves. Yeah. Make the highlights on the left guys, put it everything on the left. Does it look like clouds? Yeah, I'm gonna use. Um, I'm gonna add more highlights. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add more highlights. You can use a topping technique, guys, or punching. To create this kind of effect, okay. Yeah, I'm using punching or I'm punching or tapping the brush. Okay. Just get some small amount on your palette then just put it on the tip of your brush then just apply it. Yeah, I like the cloud, it's really realistic. Okay, so what else here? 
I'm gonna add a little uh, happy clouds here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think that's okay for me. So next, I'm going to proceed to add some highlights or some highlights on the mountains. So I'm going to use again um same uh, color, guys. The bluish, um, lighter bluish gray. So just add the white to the existing color. The same color, guys, you use in the clouds. And just apply it here. on the left side of the mountain yeah it's a the color guys looks like gray but it has a little amount of blue on it I think I'm not gonna put that anything here. I'll just improve this color. Yeah, I think that will do. Okay, and now I am going to add some um, uh, far, uh, far, uh, far forest. Yeah. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna add some trees, group of trees. Okay. So I'll just use the same brush, guys, the number 7 flat brush. Then I'm gonna use the same color, guys, here. But darker with black, so it will be bluish gray, guys, again. But it, it will be a little darker. And I'll just apply it here. I think I'm gonna make it lighter so I just add white to make it lighter yeah this will do so also remember guys the when the object becomes uh, farther it will, be, uh, it will always become lighter and more bluish that's the role of the aerial perspective guys Okay. And I think here also. Yeah, I think that's enough. So I'm gonna. Yeah, and I'm going to add a darker, darker color than this guy, so it will become, it will be um, nearer to us. Okay, so. Here, I'm gonna put it here so it become dark, it will be darker, guys. So just add black and a little amount of blue. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this some um, nearer. So it will be, it will be darker than the, the first one, guys, the first group of trees because it this is nearer to us. Okay, and here also I'm gonna add one. Yeah, because I'm gonna add, I think I'm going to put some tree here, guys. So it will, some area will be covered here. Also, I'm planning to add some tree here. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's it for, that's it for now. So, I'm gonna add a little highlights. Using the yellow color and white. Here. Okay. Uh, more white 
just add more white guys to make it lighter just mix the uh, two colors the yellow and the black oh no the yellow and the, the white Okay, so um, to add some white guys, white highlights on the uh, grassy fields. Yeah, that will do. Yeah, also. Okay. Yeah, that's very nice. Okay, what else I'm gonna add? Yeah, I think I'm going to start adding the first the some uh, what else I'm gonna add. I think I'm going to start adding the uh, dark color here. So first I'm gonna put it here. So again, guys, it's um, darker color, uh, bluish gray. So just use black. I know blue and black. I think I'm going to make it a little green because it will be um, near to us. So I'm going to put the bridge here. So I'm going to add some small um, tree here. And the bridge. You can actually use um, you can actually use uh, some uh, farm brush guys for this. Okay, so just pure dark colors, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna use a fun brush here for that and also this part. So I'm gonna use the dark color, guys. I'm excited. And yellow, so blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. And a little amount of red. Okay and also another yellow so it will be um, a little dark wing okay <laughs> so here just apply it here directly so do use, just use the tip brush of your the tip of your brush guys so make it as smooth as possible Okay. Also here. I'll mix it with a little bluish to make it lighter. Yeah. You can wet your uh, fan brush to make it um, fluid. I think I'm going to add some tree here, but make the uh, make, make the um, leaves uh, smaller, guys. Because you know this is um, farther than us, farther to us, you know. Okay. I feel sorry about the beautiful clouds. It has been covered. Yeah. And also this one. It's very ugly.
Yeah, okay, that's it. So, I'm going to add some highlights on that. Okay, guys, so before adding the highlights here of the of the uh, plants and trees, tree leaves, um, I'm going to add first the the um, the the color of the cliff or the details of the cliff. So I'm gonna use the black, okay, and red, and also yellow to make brown color. Okay, and I'm gonna add a little white. Add more yellow to make it more yellowish and black to make it grayish. Okay, and then just apply it here directly. So just follow what I'm doing guys. So to follow my strokes, so just like that. I think it's just very easy guys. You just have to make it soft. Or you, you need to make your strokes soft. Just like what I'm doing. Okay. So you need to make it a little uh slant strokes. Okay, so since we have darker colors, so you just um blend the darker colors. Okay, so add a little yellow to make it a little yellowish. Okay, so just uh, blend it a little. I'm going to add a little black to make it darker. Okay. And I think you don't you do not need to 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 wet your brush guys. Just let it dry or use a brush dry brush technique. Do not dip it into the water. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna add a little white. So this will be a little gray, yes, guys. So let's add a little rocks or soils, whatever you found on the cliff, or whatever color you found on the cliff. Yeah, that's it. So I think it's just very easy. Everyone can do it. Yeah, and also here, of course. So we're gonna add the the bridge here, and also this part should be darker. Okay, and we're gonna add a little darker colors. So later guys, we're gonna add the highlights here on this part since our lights coming from the left. Yeah, that's it. I think that's it. Um, just very easy. And I think everyone can do it. Right? Yeah. That's nice. Okay, so I think I'm going to add the uh, bridge here. So I think I'm going to make it um color gray or a little yellowish um, gray or something like that. So just use yellow and black and white. Yeah, I think that this is the right color. And I'm going to make it um Yeah, this uh, a little curve. It's like a western style bridges. Yeah. Yeah. 
Так, а. Make it round, guys. Yeah, I think that will do. And later we're gonna add the, the, the highlights. The bridge. So let it dry first. Yeah, I think I like it. Okay. Good. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna add um, a little highlights here. On, so, on the parts of the... This part of the uh, river banks okay and i'm gonna use a bigger brush guys i think the no one is flat brush as well do the job okay and again i'm gonna mix for brown so i'm gonna use the black yellow and with a little amount of um a little amount of uh, red and white not too much white guys yeah, this will do the, the job first. Okay, so, so observe my stroke, guys. How I did it, or what, or how I'm going to do it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's add more colors. Just add more brown. And here. Yeah. And there's some. Um, we have some uh, riverbank case. Brown river pan. So we're gonna add highlights later in this part. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna add more details on the uh, thing here. So we're gonna put some um, details on the river here from the origin of this river, okay? So I think I'm gonna use darker color, so I'm gonna use uh, blue and yellow and black. I oh, know, sorry, sorry, yellow and red. Okay, the little amount of white. That's too dark. So just a zigzag lines guys that will indicate where our river came from. Yeah, so this will be the river guys. So I think it's assumed that this will be a cliff like this like this one. So that's how it should look like. And I think I'm going to add a little uh, I'm going to put some trees on that some bushes or plants living beside uh, growing beside the the cliff of the river yeah that's a little okay Yeah, that will do. We just add highlights, uh, a little highlights in that. So just yellow and white. Okay. 
Okay, more white. Yeah, that's good. Okay, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to add um, um, highlights, and I'm gonna. Um, I think I'm going to add some highlights. Um, I think on the this tree or the, this part. So I think I'm gonna use a uh, a fan brush, guys. I'm going to start adding some highlights on the plants and trees and bushes. So I'm gonna use the red and uh, no, blue. My pond brush is still wet, so I'm gonna use uh, the yellow and white. More white and yellow. Just use the tip of your pond brush, guys. Since my pond brush is too wet, so it's not really that nice to to use. Yeah, just tapping technique guys or punching or whatever you call it just follow what i'm doing here i'm gonna add more yellow just gonna add more yellow Yeah, and also here some yellow greens. Gonna add some yellow greens. Yeah, we're gonna add some here on the cliff. Okay. So the same technique guys, the tapping technique or punching. Okay. And also the B3. Okay, add more white. Add more orange, guys. Some um, orange color and the uh, our trees. So. so let's put some variations and colors on our leaves. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Here. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So, let's add more here on the uh, below the cliff. It should be darker, guys. So, just mix it with blue. Add some bluish color on it. That's nice. Some more. Okay. What else? So now I'm going to start adding some highlights on the bridge. So I'm gonna use the number one liner brush, guys. 
and I'm gonna use the white so I think I'm gonna use the pure white guys to make and I think I'm gonna add a little yellowish color so just add yellow okay now we're gonna add some highlights okay and add some thickness yeah I'm going to mix it a little brown or darker brown and white here on the floor more white guys should be light okay yeah it's a lot of birds now and also what else I'm gonna add I'm going to add a little dark details so I'm gonna use the black guys and I'll just mix it with the existing dark colors here and I'm gonna add some lines okay my dog is very noisy guys sorry about that yeah and here some, some glazing on the to make it darker okay that's it yeah it's looks like a bridge now so I'm going to add more highlights and details guys on the the bridge and also the other parts here on the uh, river bank. So I'm going to add first here also on the bottom. So I'll just use the existing brown color guys. So I'm going to add yellow it to make it um, lighter, yellowish. yeah some highlights on the cliff so i'm gonna mix for another brown and white and yellow Just more highlight guys. Add more white. Okay. And here we're gonna add some lights here. On the river bank. I am using number 7 flat bus guys you can use a topping technique okay. about that more highlights guys more white just add more white And also here. There are no special technique guys, just um, 
think just plain coloring yeah, here also yeah it's now very clear and also here on the on the other side here of the cliff let's have some highlights let's add some reflections on the water so just um make some uh, vertical stroke guys from the top to downward okay i think i'm gonna make that uh, lighter so I'll just add white to make it lighter and the same on the reflections yeah okay how about that yeah i think i'm going to make this part a little lighter so just just the brown guys with a little blue to make it a little bluish and just apply it here directly Yeah, that will do. Okay. But also, I think I'm going to start um, adding some uh, reflection. Uh, but, but first, I'm going to add some bushes and highlights on the ground. So here, to start using the number six flat um, fan brush, guys. So again, I'm going to use the yellow with mixed to blue with a little amount of red. Yeah, just apply it here. And also here. Some grasses and plants and bushes. Also here, guys. Yeah, and we're gonna add some highlights. So I'm gonna use the white to make it lighter and yellow. So let's apply it directly here. Just punching, guys. Punching technique or tapping. More yellow. And white. Yeah, that's nice. What else I'm gonna add? And here I'm going to add a little highlights here. Yeah, that's it. And here. Okay. So now I'm gonna start adding the the reflections of the river. 
I think we're gonna add a little uh, oh, tree, tree here. So just use uh, blue guys and yellow. And red and yellow more yellow and red and blue guys and green okay the same technique guys the topping technique Okay, gonna add white and yellow guys to make some reflections. Just put the tip of your uh, of your brush, the reflections and uh, the, the the lighter color guys to make this kind of effect. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Yeah. And now I'm ready to add the, the reflection. So I'm gonna mix for the darker green. So I'm gonna use the existing color green guys and I'm gonna add a little amount of yellow. And I'll just apply it here directly. Just downwards rocks guys. From top to bottom. Don't worry about uh, this guy, so just retouch that later. Okay. I think it's just as easy as that. And I'm gonna add more red and yellow. More green guys and yellow. Okay. Yeah. It. Now we're gonna add some highlights on the no, reflection with yellow and white. I'm going to add more yellow, yellow color here. Okay, so just color here in white okay so here It. and also here okay and also some brown color guys so just use white and mix it with the brown color here and yeah, just a little amount here Create some reflection on the rocks. So here. Okay, and also here. Okay. 
Okay. And now I'm gonna fix the sky. So again, I'm gonna use same brush, guys. And the same color blue. So I'm gonna mix for blue, guys. Here and white. Just retouch something. Oh, that's bad. Some white to make it lighter. Yeah, and here also. I'm going to add some um, water disturbance guys so just use the white with mix with a uh, little amount of blue the same color and you can like um, disposition or brush and just make some straight line strokes uh, horizontal strokes to create some water waves or some water disturbance guys Yeah. Use the white. Okay, just horizontal stroke, guys. Just follow what I'm doing. So I do it. I think it's very easy, you know. Okay. More. Yeah. That's it. It looks like a water now. It looks realistic. Yeah. What else am I gonna add? I think I'm going to Im improve more here, so just add more highlights here. Oh, sure. Yeah, so do. Okay. And now I'm going to add some final retouch. Okay, I think I'm going to add some tree here. I think some another huge tree. <laughs> and I'm going to retouch more here. Okay. And I'm going to use the number seven flat brush guys and i'm gonna mix for brown here or red and yellow 
and white and black more white okay more yellow I don't like the color Okay, just follow everything I did guys or what I'm doing. I think this is very easy, you know. You can use a tapping technique guys to create some um, rock-like textures. Then add more white with more highlights. Okay. Just like a tapping technique, guys. So here, I'm going to make this cliff a little uh, lighter. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And more white. To create more highlights here. Yeah. yeah and I think we need to add some reflections here in the water and also here so just cover everything you see on the top guys create this kind of reflections yeah what will do yeah it's pretty nice okay what else I'm gonna add so this part guys will be dark so since there's no light passing through here now I'm gonna start adding some uh, branches in this tree so I'll just use the black guys with some lighter color here and just apply it directly here I think I'm gonna use darker okay that's nice and the last part guys will be the big tree here so I'm gonna use a bigger brush the number 4 flat brush and I'm gonna use the black with a little amount of red and yellow okay it will be a very straight tree okay. then I use black
Yeah. About that. Yeah. And I think this tree guys is pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to add some grayish um, color of the uh, trunk. So it has very nice roots. I'm going to make it a little bluish. Yeah, it has a pretty nice roots. Okay. Just make it lighter. Yeah. And I'm gonna mix for then add a little yellowish to make it um, yellowish. And I'm gonna make add white guys to make it lighter. To add some highlights. So I'll just put the highlights here and delete here. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna add more lighter color here, so I'll just mix it the bluish color here guys. So right here directly. I'm going to make that a little bluish with more white. And I think that's a very nice tree with no leaves and I'm gonna add a little amount of leaves in that yeah just a little amount of leaves uh, big leaves and here I'm gonna use the, the this brush with yellow and red so it has a pretty big leaves guys this kind of tree just a topping technique guys to create some big leaves okay. yeah, still do And I will make it uh, lighter here. So I'm gonna use the white guys. Here we do lots of white to make it lighter. Yeah, that will do. Okay, so what else I'm gonna do here? Yeah. Gonna do some retouch. Okay, so the last part will be the retouch, guys. So I'm gonna retouch some areas, like this part. So I'm gonna use the flat, the uh, fan brush, guys. 
So we're gonna more, add more highlights here. Okay, now we make it darker color. So I'm gonna add it here. Yeah, that's it. So I think I am done with my um, simple landscape painting demonstration, guys. So if uh, if you wanna paint me, just follow everything I did in the video and. All I can say guys is keep on practicing, the more you practice, the more you will know how to mix the colors and the more you will know how to how to, to use your brushes. This is a very important guys in learning how to paint. Okay guys, so please hit like, add some comments and subscribe for more videos in the future. And, and please um, visit my website if you wanna see my old works and my paintings. And, Okay guys, so once again, thank you very much and have a nice day.